Delphia. Hum -de -dum -de -doo. Young lady, it is rude to ignore people. No, it's rude to ignore nice people. So you don't count. Of course I count. Everyone counts. <sighs> Delphia, listen to me. I don't give you these lectures because I hate you. Well, you could have fooled me because you never say anything nice. You know better than anyone how I was born with a gift. All that natural talent. And yet you still want me to defer to everyone else. It's not my fault they work twice as hard and only end up half as good. I mean, I'm risking my life out here too, you know. Well, I suppose that's true. But people will soon begin to resent you if you carry yourself in such a manner. I want you to be loved by all. Yeah, because you're just the model of popularity around here. <sighs> Maybe you should try worrying about how you carry yourself for a change. <sighs> So now we're at war with Regal. I meant to see the world, and now it seems I'm really seeing it. <laughs> I make it sound so grand, but honestly, I've just been running. I hated it in the village. My mother never thought of anyone but herself. I couldn't spend my life there. So now I've found all the excitement I longed for, plus a fair lot I didn't. But don't tell the others I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> Show them what I can really do. An unsettling face peered down at them through the pitch-black darkness. It was the legendary Arcanist Nui Baba, mistress of Fear Mountain and terror to all. By offering up her soul, she had purchased the very darkest of sortilage. A single word from her lips was enough to snuff out life itself. Why did Arm go to this place? And what exactly did he hope to find upon that terrible peak? <laughs> Welcome, warriors of the Deliverance. My doors stand open to receive you. Are you Nui Baba? Where's Selica? You poor fool. There's no one here by that name. I merely used a vision of whomever you held fast in your heart to draw you in. So it was a trap! <laughs> oh, and how clumsily you've fallen into it! The specter of love ever draws fools such as you like butterflies to nectar. And yet, the real feast is yet to come, when I dine upon your souls. Get ready, everyone! Medusa, honor the pact you've sworn to me! Ha! Stand aside! A 
Allow me. Leave this to me. Allow me. Watch me go. Fine, twist my arm. Easy pickings. The mother walks with me. Just leave it to me. Just say the word. All right, let's go. Come at me, fools! <laughs> Stand back. Nothing will stop me. It's easy once you learn to understand your foes.
99. Greetings, Delthea. I was hoping we could speak a little more about Luthea. Oh, gods, what now? I was just thinking how you were exactly right about him. Gifted Major, no. He clearly inhabits his own bizarre little reality. I understand now why you might be so horrified to share his blood. Well, yeah, obviously, duh. Wait, did I say horrified? Because, I mean, he does kind of sort of go out of his way to help others. So while he's no hot stallion like Clive, I don't know if he's all that bad. Lou's just... I don't know. Lou, I guess. I didn't mean to give you the impression that I hate him or anything. <laughs> just as I suspected. Huh? Hey, wait! Did you just trick me into saying nice stuff about my brother? I merely wanted to know how you truly feel. And I must say that I'm relieved. Because now I know you love your brother every bit as much as I do mine. We must spend more time together, you and I. We have so much in common. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really big on mind games. But I do like talking to you, so... Oh, alright. I guess we can be friends. <laughs> Splendid. Is it okay for the goddess to pick favorites like this?
make me jealous. Impressed yet?
close. Let me share with you death's embrace. After that, when I first enlisted, the deliverance was short handed, and yet the men running it were still all knights of noble birth. Only one of them paid any heed at all to my or Python's exploits. That's right, it was Sir Clive. He made me a lieutenant even when the others cried no. Then he made sure Python was taken care of as well. I'm not sure Python fully appreciates it, but that's a separate issue. With so many people opposing me, I knew I'd never truly be their equal. But the chance Sir Clive gave me meant something. And I shall never forget it. I swore to follow that man to the ends of Valentia if he asked. Nui Baba gathered young and comely girls from all across Regal. She made sacrifices of them fed them to monsters to preserve her own youth. Ooh! You've met Lord Burkut? You're so lucky! He's amazing! Every woman in Regal wishes they could be his. Oh, alas, it's an impossible dream now that he's to wed Renea.
Why, yes, I am a traveling merchant. Aren't you observant? If you need to get an item to that special someone, I can make it happen. Just give me one item and one name and I'll do the rest. Till next time, ta-ta! Are you all right? Noe Baba has been dealt with, in case you're wondering. She's gone? You mean it? Oh, thank you! I've been searching for my Zeke, but coming here was clearly a mistake. If you don't mind my asking, who are you exactly? We're the Deliverance. Then it's true! Sophia really has invaded! S stay back! Zeke! Um, we just got finished saving you. You realize that, right? And we sure didn't come all this way just to start harming innocent Regellians. So long as we don't meet on the field of battle, you're no enemy of mine. I'm... not? Oh, sorry. My heart was racing a little faster than my brain there. But I can see you're a man of his word. Please forgive me. Uh, it's alright. I know you've been through a lot. And technically we did invade, so... Well, you still seem more honorable than the troops lording over the village. <gasps> oh no! Huh? Are you the leader of this... deliverance? Of course you are. You must be. Just look at you. In that case, I need your help! My lover Zeke is in peril! Forgive me, my lady, but I fear you stand corrected. I am not the leader of the deliverance. But you're so tall and dashing, I thought for sure... Hmm... <gasps> It's you, isn't it? Yes, it must be. Witness the focused air about you. <laughs> uh, wrong again, I fear. Alm here commands us. What? Uh, hey there. <gasps> forgive me! It's just that you're so young and... young? Don't worry about it. But tell us more about this Zeke person. <gasps> yes, Zeke! Ezekiel! You're on your way to Regal Castle, right? Then you're certain to meet Zeke on the Regal Plains along the way. When that happens, don't kill him. Don't you dare! His superior officer, Jerome, is a no-good rotten lout. He and Nui Baba have brought immense suffering upon the locals. Zeke tried to stand up to Jerome and his wicked ways. But once I was taken captive, my love had no choice but to obey. If you tell Zeke I'm free, however, I know he'll fight for what's right! Alright, but this Zeke, uh, Ezekiel, is a Regellian soldier, isn't he? If he attacks us, we'll have no choice but to answer in kind. Aw, oh, he won't attack you. He's a sweetie pie. Heck, he's going to be over the moon about how you all saved me. In fact, I'm sure he'll even come to your aid. He's just that kind of man. <sighs> You're oddly... convincing. I actually believe you. Of course you do. Just remember, no killing my sweet Zeke. Got it? I know you'll get him out of his predicament. I just know it. Hey, wait a second. Why don't I go with you? I just miss my love so much.
tired yet, Chief? Now we're taking on Regal? <laughs> you work oddly hard for someone your age. Still, defeat the Emperor and the Empire will be yours, yeah? Well, better you than me. I don't want to be responsible for anyone but yours truly. Uh-oh. You look like you're gonna ask a tough question. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah. I guess I'd lead the damn country if I had to. I just don't want to have to. I'm diligent, not masochistic. Look, put it this way. I know my limits, and I respect them. <laughs> Wouldn't want to disappoint anyone, right? I was raised in an orphanage in one of Regal's villages. But I wasn't a sad child. Far from it, in fact. I always had lots of friends, and the clerics were very kind. That's what inspired me to become a cleric myself. I want to help people the way they helped me. Oh, you think I've succeeded? Well, that's nice of you. I wonder... I'm quite the scatterbrain, if you hadn't noticed. Why, just the other day, I had to bake bread for the church's hungry. But I forgot it was in the oven, and the loaf came out like a stone! Of course, everyone laughed and ate it anyway. Probably broke their teeth. Sometimes I think they give me more support than the other way around.